Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and I'm from the Pretty Sweaty Stuff Yoga. So as always, we'll start in a nice comfortable seated position, whatever feels good for you. Closing down the eyes. And take a few moments here to just arrive onto your mat. Take this time to arrive into your body and into the mind. And if you haven't already, begin to tap into that controlled breath. Taking a big breath in. Easy exhale through the nose. Creating this new soft breath. Whenever you're ready, interlace your fingers and place the hands behind your head. And then puff the chest forward, send the elbows out, look up. And then as you exhale, send the back of the heart behind you, chin to chest. Draw the elbows towards each other. Inhale, lift up, puff the chest forward, almost like you're in your cow pose. And as you exhale, round the back, drop the chin to the chest. One last time, inhale, send the chest forward. Maybe look up. And as you exhale, round everything into a tight little ball. Draw the belly in. Then slowly lifting all the way up. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Maybe keep a soft bend in the elbows. If you're feeling okay, maybe you like to straighten the arms out. Again, puffing the chest forwards. You can stay here. If you like, begin to fold forwards, sending the arms over. Feel free to place your head on top of a block or maybe onto a couple of cushions. Squeeze the hands together. And then slowly lift all the way up. Then come to your child's pose, arms out in front of you. Palms together and bend into the elbows and then send your fingertips behind you. Think about coming to that tricep stretch. If you're looking for a little bit more of sensation, you can always try popping your arms on top of a block. So maybe place the tricep or the elbows on top of a block and then just gently dip the chest towards the ground. And just remember, a block has three levels. So if this still isn't enough, you can try and go a little bit higher by maybe using a chair. Still the same thing, so place the elbow or the tricep onto the edge and then dip the chest towards the ground. So obviously this adds a little bit more of a back bend. So just be mindful and keep drawing the navel in. And remember to keep that soft breath. So if you feel like you're really struggling here, you've gone a little bit too far in the stretch. And that's really important to recognize. Whenever you're ready, slowly lift all the way up. Come to lie on your belly, and obviously more than welcome to pop yourself up with cushions. Bring your left arm nice and long to the outside of that left shoulder, and then roll towards that left side. Really grounding through that left shoulder. You can stay here if you like, you can always place your right foot behind you. And maybe if you've got the range of motion today, you like to reach your right arm over towards the left and interlace the fingers. If you're still looking for a little bit more, maybe placing your left foot to the ground. If this still isn't enough, you can bring the soles of the feet together. Again, remember to be super gentle Slowly come through centre and then we'll come for the other side. So maybe you're a little bit tighter here, so don't be afraid to just stay where you are. If this isn't enough, maybe you like to try and place one foot to the ground. Maybe both feet. Maybe reaching your left arm over towards the right to interlace the fingers. Or maybe bring the soles of the feet together. Just keep breathing nice and softly. And you'll know when you're stretching too far, when the breath and the facial muscle starts to change. Slowly roll through center and ease your way up. Then bring the feet out in front of you to the ground and loop the arms underneath the thighs. So grab whatever you can along the arms and get the belly to touch the thighs. So think about being in a super tight ball, dropping your chin towards the chest. Draw the belly in as you really spread the back of the heart. 
then really pull away from the legs creating a little bit more space between the shoulder blades so the more you pull away from the legs the more of the sensation you'll find take it easy as you lift all the way up wrapping your right arm around your knees left fingertips behind you take a deep inhale find your length and as you exhale gently twist keep grounding through both sitting bones and sit really nice and tall maybe turning the head right over towards that left shoulder slowly come through center hug the shins with your left arm as you place your right fingertips behind you take a deep inhale find your length and as you exhale gently twist noticing if maybe you're leaning backwards instead of sitting nice and tall come back through center and then come to a comfortable seated position. Placing your right hand on top of the left ear, gently guide the head over towards that right shoulder. You can stay here if you like, lift and straighten into that left arm, maybe pointing the fingertips towards the ceiling or towards the ground. Whatever feels comfy for you. Slowly release, other side. Left hand on top of the right ear, gently guide the head over towards the left. Maybe lifting and straightening into that right arm. And slowly release. Closing down the eyes if they're not already. And placing the hands wherever feels good. Coming back to that stillness. Stillness of the mind. Stillness of the body. And stillness of the breath. One final breath together. Take a big inhale. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Staying here as long as you need to. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you. With love and gratitude. Namaste.